For Beatles fans, this is a big anniversary. It's the 50th anniversary of Let It Be. And if you love songs like that from them, Blue Note Hawaii is the place to be this weekend. Sing it. <laughs> Sing it, Tanya. I don't want to ruin it. I'll leave it to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll leave it up to the pros. <laughs> Three time Nahoku Hanohano Award nominees Beat Lele hits the stage armed with their ukulele and the fun of performing in tribute of the famous band. If I trust in you, oh please, don't run. An exciting group of performers are going to be back at Blue Note Hawaii. We're talking with Beat Lele and Dennis Moon. And we are so excited to know that Beat Lele will be back in action. Tell me all about the group. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, having us on your show. We are a Beatles tribute group that performs Beatles songs exclusively but we do it on ukuleles. So we play uh, and perform the parts of John, Paul, George, and Ringo. So the other three guys perform on ukuleles and I, as the Ringo uh, musician, perform on a cajon with a little percussion um, to complement that. What, it is, what do you think it is about the ukulele that really lends itself to the Beatles' amazing repertoire music? Yeah, well, as far as we know, we are the first group to try this experiment, and it's been very well received from, um, from people all over. You know, we went to Liverpool, we played at a festival over there, and it was an international festival, and those were kind of the testing grounds to see how well we would be received with this new uh, rendition of Beatles songs, and they really loved it, and, and since then, everywhere we perform, people just really appreciate this unique uh, way of performing the, the songs. And I think what, uh, to me, what stands out is that the Beatles are so well known for their, their harmonies and their melodies. And uh, unlike the recorded versions where you hear a lot more instrumentation and Ringo's hi-hats, you know, swashing around, um, you don't hear as much of that um, electronic, uh, electric sounds going on, amplified sounds. So it's kind of an acoustic, um, rendition, but yet with still a lot of energy, and we're very anal about sticking to the uh, the parts perfectly as much as we can, given the limitations of four strings on our ukulele. But um, the way we do it really allows the um, the harmonies and the vocals to really stand out that people can appreciate even um, more than I think the original recordings, just because it's a little sometimes they're they're um, not quite as prominent as um, you hear us playing in a little bit more of acoustic style. I want to know how you've stayed connected with fans through this and how excited you are to be going in front of a live audience again. Funny you should ask that. We actually um, had not planned to perform during this entire lockdown. Um, one of our guys tours with another group, another guy was traveling. So we actually weren't planning on performing until July anyways. Um, so, uh, but we do miss playing. We do um, have these periods of time where we aren't able to perform and, and rehearse like we um, would love to. But it's great getting back together now after uh, this uh, five month hiatus. And we are really excited to get out there and perform at the Blue Note coming up. And, um, you know, along the way, we've, you know, tried to stay connected with um, regular postings on our Instagram and Facebook accounts so people can kind of see what we're up to and just keep connected that way as best we can. All right. Well, everyone looks forward to seeing Beat Lele at the Blue Note. So nice talking with you today, Dennis. Likewise. Thank you so much, Tanya. We look forward to seeing you again. Aloha. You know, it's such a unique collection of songs, but put to the ukulele, it really had something different. And that, combined with the live and the small atmosphere of the Blue Note Hawaii, you can't go wrong. Yeah, we've had them in the studio before, and they're just so great. I became instant fans. I am not, I don't uh, regularly listen to Beatles music, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's different when they play it. It's really, actually, it draws you in and makes you want to listen. And it's a fun, it's a fun way to produce uh, such um, iconic sounds uh, or music from a band that has been long gone. And so it's really cool that, um, that they're doing it. And the Blue Note is a really good place for them to do it at. And they're back open, so they're coming up this weekend. Kimi A. Minor, a bunch of other people. Amy Hanai is headed, and they're doing it very safely. So make your reservations. Go check them out this weekend. All right, we're going to be back after.